How's it going guys? Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. I got a van load of stuff today uh, at the yard sales. A lot of stuff to show you guys. And my dad is heading to the warehouse too. I think he uh, hit up a few yard sales this morning. So he's going to show off what he found. Uh, anybody that's watching, let me know if you can see me and hear me. I would greatly appreciate it. I got some big items today. So I've got my work cut out for me. I'm loading all this stuff. But that's what was out there. Swamp Picker says, see you, hear you. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. All right, let's get right into this. I got two horseback riding helmets. The other one's somewhere in the van. Uh, they're both new. I paid $6 each for them. And it looks like they're selling, I think, for about like 30 to 40 bucks on eBay. Um, this is something that's very niche and specific, so I'll probably stick this on eBay instead of my uh, website. Swamp Picker says, slot machine, check the laws on them. That's a very good, uh, very good point. I'll, I will have to look on that. I didn't know there was different uh, rules and regulations on what you could sell, but I will look that up. Thank you, Glenn. Got this little bird cage for three bucks. This is a case for some silverware that I got. I'll show you guys. Got this Raggedy Ann and Andy, sort of like a uh, chalkware art, you know, decor, something like that for a dollar. <laughs> Hey, Wit, she says Darcy's watching. <laughs> I got this uh, Willie Cunningham book. Only reason I bought it is because it's autographed. And it was only 50 cents. Um, he's a local, I guess, Cincinnati radio personality. Alright, this probably my best find of the day. This is a Dennis the Menace doll from the 50s. This thing is creepy looking. I mean, they gave him some crazy eyebrows and eyes and mouth and everything. I mean, this thing is like Chucky. I paid seven bucks for him. And he's, he looks like he's something like 75 to to $100. But I'm going to put this on my website just because... It is so cool, and I think it'll do well. He's pretty dirty. He needs a bath. Yeah, Swamp Picker says, Chucky. <laughs> pretty much, bud. Hey, Crafty Reseller. How you doing? The Hyper Picker is in here, too. How you doing? Yeah, this thing is really neat. It's rare that I find really, really old dolls. I almost passed this guy up. It was like the third time around the sale that I found this. He was sitting on a shelf with like a bunch of other new, you know, stuffed animals. Nothing really special, but... That guy might just be the find of the day. One sale I went to, I could tell right away, they just had a bunch of good stuff. So I wanted to make a bundle deal. Whitney says, going to have nightmares now. <laughs> Jeff Carter says, evil Dennis. Yeah, that thing is creepy. Uh, so I knew they had a bunch of good stuff, so I told right away, like, hey, you know, can you work with me on price if I get a bunch of stuff? She said, yes, of course. This was part of that deal. They were asking 10 with my discount. I probably ended up paying 7 or so. And this is a hookah pipe. So it's pretty nice. I think this is some blown glass maybe. Pretty nice set. Comes with a case and everything. Swamp Picker says one sold for $80 on eBay. I'm guessing he's talking about that Dennis and Menace. Here's that silverware I got. I showed you uh, the case for. This is Onita Community Queen Best 2 1946. 
it's a lot of pieces, um, and I only paid 10 bucks for it, so I should do all right on that. Then I got this Yashica 35 millimeter camera. It is the Yashica G Electro 35. This is a pretty sought after uh, 35 millimeter. Although I didn't see this, it looks like the lens has some damage right there. I only paid five bucks for it, so I figured for that price, what the heck. Donna Wester says Onita is an Indian name. Whitney says yes it is. When you say yes, do you mean that this is a good camera? Hard to keep up on the chat on the iPad. Oh, she says it is soft, sought after. All right, so this is an iPod Shuffle, which really isn't anything special except that. Oh, Donna says I'm not pronouncing it right. I apologize. Yeah, I'm probably butchering that. Oneida, Oneida. Probably not saying that right. So what is special about this iPod is that it's sealed. They never open this. So. This probably would only be worth like $10, but the fact that it's sealed makes it worth about 50 or 60 based on what I've seen on eBay. And it's only two gig, so it really can't hold that much music. She was asking 20 for it. I offered her 10 and we settled on 15. I also got a big box of 45 records for five bucks. this big baker's rack for $12. This is one of those that folds up and then like all the shelves come down on it. Got a room divider for $7. It's pretty sturdy too. I don't think it's bamboo. I think maybe it's just meant to look like bamboo. But it's a pretty nice piece. Jeff Carter wants to know, do you sell the records individually or in lots? I will probably sell those in a big lot. I usually just do those in lots unless there's something really special, but I just don't know enough about records to always know which ones to separate. And Jeff, those will be on my website, so if you're into records, we get records all the time on Look What I Found. There's another horseback riding helmet I was telling you guys about. This is a 1969 Astronauts of Apollo 11 puzzle. I typically don't buy puzzles, but this was 50 cents and it's very old, the subject matter is really good, so I thought I would give this a chance. I got this KitchenAid mixer for 30 bucks. It's pretty clean, it's one of the fairly newer ones I think. I'd say, you know, within the last 10 years or so. It's got a few of the attachments inside. I know these go for huge money new. Uh, so I was thinking, you know, I might get 75 bucks for it or so on the website. But I couldn't pass it up for 30. Got this RC helicopter. It's new in the box. They were asking 50, but I got it in a bundle deal at that one sale with everything else. So I probably ended up paying like 30 or so. I couldn't find any comps on it, but I figured for that price it was probably hard to go wrong.
got an Operation Star Wars game for three bucks. And I've done really well with these on my website. I think I sold one for like 15 bucks or so, maybe a week or two ago. Anything Star Wars related seems to sell well, so I picked it up. And I love this old PBR sign. I don't see a year on it, but I'm pretty sure it's vintage. You know, probably 80s if I had to guess. When you lift one, make it a paps. Yeah, that's really cool. Crush flip saying, eating lunch. Hi, John and Whitney. How you doing, Lonnie? Did you guys find anything today? Lonnie, I think you missed it. I got to show you this creepy old Dennis the Menace doll I found. Picked up a hat, uh, it's a trucker hat for a dollar. Uh, it's the Wild Beaver Saloon in Indianapolis. That hopefully should sell. I also got some more camera stuff. Uh, so I got a Canon mount zoom lens. And another Yashica. This is a little newer than the other one though which might make it worth less money, I think. But I picked that up for just a few bucks. And there's an, actually another lens in there, too. And that's a Yashica. This might end up being worth more than the camera itself. A lot of times that's the case. The lenses are where the money's at. All right, I've got a slot machine in here. I'm going to lift it really quick because it weighs a ton and show you guys. Got the tokens and everything. It also has the um, ashtray on it. There's a little built in ashtray on the front of the thing. She plugged it in, it works great. I gave her 40 bucks for it. I typically typically get like $75 or so for them, uh, but Glenn, I appreciate the heads up. I'll definitely look and see what the rules and regulations are in Ohio for reselling those. Got this little Thomas the Train toy. For $2, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but I ran into my buddy Brandon at one of the sales. He said that he's done pretty good with these before. He just didn't want to mess with shipping it. So I'm like, well, we'll give it a shot. What the heck? Also got this tennis racket for 2 bucks. Okay, got some K2 skates. If you guys ever find inline skates, K2 is pretty much the best brand to pick up because uh, they're always expensive. Paid seven for these. Tennessee Picker just got here. Hey, John and Lonnie, how you doing, bud? Glad you could make it. Got a PlayStation 2 Slim for 35 bucks and it came with a whole bunch of games Guitar Hero 2 in the box came with a memory card that was sealed uh, one or two controllers there's the PlayStation some of the games 
Madden, Baseball, Crazy Taxi, nothing special. Here are the rest of the games. There's Atari in there. Look who made it. I did pretty good to only go to six sites. You went to no, six five. sites? The and one, they were all like basically in my neighborhood? No. Uh, there? Well, yeah. You know that one I said it was on the way there? It's kind of like halfway between Goshen and Mainville. Okay. There turned out to be two on that road over there. Yeah. And one of them, uh, the guy had some pharmacy stuff. I got those two pharmacy scales. And some bring them uh, in mortar pestle things. Yeah, bring them in. And he said that his father, he, he has his father's entire estate. Holy cow! So I gave, he asked me if I was a reseller. I told him about the site. He gave me some cards. I just told him to call me. Awesome. Yeah. So he asked me about yeah, he needs help to sell his stuff. So. Dad just got here. He got some stuff today, so he's gonna bring it in and show you guys. Steven, Steph, resale killers are here. How's it going, guys? All right, the rest of those PlayStation games, these are actually PS1, Golden Nugget, and Scrabble. Uh, Gran Turismo 3, Tie of the Tiger, Strike Force, and see the play football. Guitar Hero, Atari. So 35 was probably a lot to pay for it, but with all the games, I thought it was worth it. Dad, Jeff says hi, he's in the chat. Hey, Jeff. He says, hey, also got this um, HP high def webcam for four bucks. It's sealed and it looks like it's selling for about 35 or 40. All right, Dad's digging out of stuff. Got this Teak Head Demagnetizer. I didn't even know what this was. He had to tell me what it was. He said it's for reel to reels. And I saw, I paid three bucks for it. I saw one in the box. Sell for about 30, I think. I thought it was cool and it's vintage. So I took a chance on it. Okay. I got another big box of records for 15. There's some pretty good titles in here, too. Gladys Knight and the Pips. Hmm. Phil Collins. Boston. Temptations. Yeah, there's a bunch of good ones in here. So there's probably about 40 or so records in there. So 15 bucks, I'm buying them for about 25 cents each. Got this Trek bike. This was in a bundle deal. They were wanting $125 for it, but I got this and a whole bunch of other stuff for $165. So I probably got $75 in this thing. Um, I should be able to get $150, maybe closer to $200. I know Trek doesn't make very many bikes that sell new for less than $400 or so. And this thing is super light too. Lift it right up. Probably weighs like 10 pounds or something. I've sold Trek bikes in the past and I've done pretty well with them.
Then you dig it a lot, man. Got this Crosley radio, it's got built-in speakers. Not very old, just kind of made to look vintage. But I don't think the guy used it. Whoa, that comes off apparently. So this thing's like, you know, pretty much brand new. I'm sure it was made maybe five, ten years ago. It's even got the tape. On part of it there still. Uh, paid 15 for this, so we'll see. Tennessee Pick Picker says, good catch. Thank you very much. <laughs> I just about broke the whole thing. Holy cow, are you still bringing stuff in? Yeah. Is that all of it? No. Yeah. You got more? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I had a hell of a day just in 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm shocked. Yeah. All right, I got this dresser for 10 bucks. Not anything super special, but these always do well on my website, so I had to get them 10 bucks. This little film reel, the core. I gotta pay three for that. I got this Headstrom tricycle. I got it for five bucks. I was looking up some comps. It looks like some of them go for like fifty to a hundred. It's it's vintage, it's got a pretty cool look to it, it's in, you know, okay shape. So, thought I'd give it a shot. You ready to show off what you got? Uh, I got one more box of stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I went yard sound for 30 minutes and he got a whole car full. I've had a great day. Find this much stuff as quick as it did, and then get to spend two hours with Darcy on top of that. <laughs> Yeah, Dad was hanging out with Darcy this morning. Nathan, Red Neckerson Resales is here. How you doing, bud? Says, good morning. I put my store on vacation mode last night. I have not decided to give up yet, but I've been making too many mistakes. Sorry to hear that, man. Just keep fighting through it. We all screw up. Whitney says, don't forget my find for you, too. That's right. Whitney called me. She was at a yard sale, and... She said, hey, they've got a Nintendo DS. They're asking five bucks. It didn't have a charger, and it wouldn't power on. I said, see if they'll take three, because I've got an extra charger. So she did. She got it for three bucks. So nice job on that. That should be, if it works, probably 15, 20 bucks. Chad, Golden Finger Picker's here. How you doing, bud? Polishek is here, too. Hi, dude. UK here. Nice items, as always. Let's make some dosh. Is Dosh dough like money? Okay, here's the rest of my stuff. Ah. Oh man. <laughs> Max killing me, man. Alright, it's Dad's turn to show off some stuff. Stuff? Well, it's over here if you want to just come over. Well, the camera is up there. Oh, okay. If it's heavy, I'll move it for you. Well, I'll just, I'll just take the camera over here and video. That's all you do, right? Alright, so Dad's going to show off his stuff. Today in this tub here, I've got a PSP with about 20 games. I've got an Xbox 360, uh, several games for that, controller, power cord, 
some other miscellaneous games, several Wii's, uh, several Game Cubes. Over here, got some Wii's. Some Did you get a Game Cube too, or just the Game Cube games? No Game Cube, just the games. Yeah. Yeah, and then I got this uh, Colt hat signed by Tony Bungie. Dungey. <laughs> Dungey. Yeah. Tony Bungie. I actually work with a guy. His last name's Bungie. Oh, so okay. I, I, I had his, <laughs> so I got this Dodge Hubcap Pyrex Bowls. Ooh, those Pyrex Bowls are nice. Yeah, they are. And these uh, mortar pestle sets, these two scales, and those boxes on top are the weight sets. That, that oh, wow. Let me open one. Did you get these old farm tools too? Yes. Those two uh, dice and this thing here. So these are the weight sets that you use with these scales. These things are selling for almost 200 each on eBay. Holy cow. Got a good deal on these. You got these knives too? Yeah, I got all these knives for a dollar. The Smith & Wesson knife? Mm-hmm. You got all these for a buck total? Yep. yep. He had a dollar on that one too, and I said, I'll give you a dollar for all of them. He said, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's some neat ones in here. That's a pretty nice one. Look at that one right there. Wow. That's pretty cool. I like that. That is that. cool. I'm going to take these home and look at them and see if I want to add any of them to my collection. I probably will. But yeah, these are selling really high. I got these for $15 each. And like I say, they're selling for almost $200 Jeez. on uh, eBay. You went yard sale for 30 minutes and you got all this stuff? Well, I stopped at that one sale on the way to your house to watch Darcy. And it was two on that street. And on that street, I got everything but this box of games. This box of games came from the street sale in your neighborhood. And everything else. I think I got this in that neighborhood, too. But I got most of it at those two sales. Swamp Picker says, nice haul, Mr. Don. <laughs> yeah, I think it did pretty good. Not too shabby. Look at these shirts, man. These are nice shirts. The Bearded sure. Picker says, I need to take lessons from you. <laughs> you got these shirts for a dollar a piece. Look at these. Uh, Golden Figure Picker wants to know if those scales have to be professional, professionally calibrated. Probably, but I'm sure you can get the manual and instructions to do it. Yeah, that's Don't a really good it. question, Chad. Yeah, I don't know anything about them, but I'm sure they, you know, they have to be calibrated and, you know, to weigh correctly. And I'm not sure how to do it. I just found them, looked them up on eBay, and saw they were worth quite a bit of money. And they got the weights and everything with them, and they're in excellent condition. You can see they're, like, new almost. So, yeah, I'm happy with my haul to only hit a few sales. Yeah, no kidding. Resale killers say, wow, John, your dad killed it. <laughs> All right, I only got a couple more things to show you guys here, and then I will be done. All right, this is the Guitar Hero that came with that PlayStation 2 Slim that I got. Got this big metal fish for five bucks. It was weird, so I like weird stuff on my website, so I thought I'd get that. Got this big ceiling fan for 20. So had all the packaging and everything inside. They said they never used it. I think Whitney might want it for a bedroom, but if she decides against it, then I'm selling. It's going on the website. Jeff says catch of the day. Yeah, that is the catch of the day right there. I got a bookshelf that's way back in there too, so I'll try to flip it around so you guys can see it. Paid 15 for the bookshelf. I got a lot of furniture today. A lot of big pieces. 
but they were pressed right, so I couldn't pass them up. Anybody watching this, let me know how you guys did today. If anybody else went out yard sailing. Swamp Picker says, some scales have to be certified by agri agricultural department. I can't speak today. Jeez, oh, Pete. Yeah, Dad's going to have to look into that. He might have to like go through inspections and calibrations and all kinds of stuff just to sell those things. Better him than me. Um, that's it. That's all we got, guys. Everybody, thank you for watching. Tune in to Mothership Products tonight. He has a very important auction going on. Very special one tonight. Um, the woman holding the auction was affected by Hurricane Irma down in Florida. I think she was in Pensacola from what Chad said on the show last night. And her house got a ton of damage. So she is raising money tonight to pay for her insurance deductible. So make sure you guys check that out. It is 8 o'clock Eastern on Mothership Products channel. And then tomorrow we are also doing the reseller six pack on Dwayne's channel also, uh, Mothership Products. Oh, sorry, not Pensacola, Chad says, down south. So, but I know she, she was in Florida, I'm, I'm assuming, if she was affected by Irma. Uh, so anyways, definitely check that out, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.